access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Looking at the Universe Conversation Cheat Sheet. With this new Conversation Cheat Sheet, you'll learn words like star, planet, the moon, and much more. Second, the Daily Conversations Infographic eBook. You'll learn over 100 conversational phrases with this new PDF eBook. Download it now for free. Third, 15 love phrases for Valentine's Day. If you don't know any romantic phrases, then this bonus is for you. You'll learn to say romantic phrases like you're beautiful, I have a crush on you, and more. Fourth, can you talk about books in your target language? Learn how to say novel, fiction, fantasy, and much more with this quick vocab bonus. And fifth, 20 must-know words and phrases for taking tests. Learn how to say pass, fail, and much more with this quick one-minute lesson. Sixth, free audiobooks. Unlock our huge library of language learning audiobooks. Save them to any device and listen and learn. They're yours to keep forever. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, take the 12-month challenge and get 12 months of premium or premium plus at up to 45% off. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Hey everyone, welcome to the Monthly Review, the monthly show on language learning where you discover new learning strategies, motivational tips, study tools, and resources. By the way, all the lessons and bonuses you're about to see can be downloaded for free on our website. So click the link in the description right now to sign up for your free lifetime account. Okay, today's topic is how to learn a language in 2022. If you're planning to learn a language in 2022, then this episode is for you, especially if you want to finally succeed with your New Year's resolution, instead of failing or giving up in the next week or two. That's why today you'll discover, one, the four critical steps you need to take when learning a new language, and two, how to set goals and New Year's resolutions that won't fail you in 2022. But first, if you're looking for some free language resources and downloads, here are this month's new lessons and resources. Be sure to download these now before we take them down in a few days. First, the Going to the Mountains Conversation Cheat Sheet. Learn all the must-know words and phrases for hiking and camping with this new cheat sheet. Second, the Most Common Adjectives PDF eBook. Master over 90 common adjectives with this bonus PDF picture eBook. You can download and review it on any device. Third, what's your New Year's resolution? With this bonus phrase list, you'll learn to say common goals like read more, save money, and learn a language. Fourth, the Winter Words and Phrases Writing Workbook. You'll learn over 60 words and phrases for the winter and holiday season and practice writing them with this printable PDF writing workbook. Download it for free right now. Fifth, must know email words and phrases. Learn how to say email, reply, spam, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. To get your free resources, click the link in the description below right now. They're yours to keep forever. Okay, let's jump into today's topic. How to learn a language in 2022. Part one, the four critical steps you need to take when learning a new language. Every time you start a new language, you should start with one, goals, two, anchor points, three, grammar, four, reading. What are these four steps and why do you need them to succeed with language learning? Let's jump in. The first one is goals. Everything starts with a goal, but your goal itself can also lead you to failure if you don't set it the right way. So more specifically, you need to set small, measurable monthly goals instead of just, I want to learn a language and be fluent this year. We'll cover goals in the second part of this episode, so stay tuned. After goals, the second step is setting anchor points. What are anchor points? Imagine a small ship in the middle of a big lake. It's windy, lots of waves, and the ship is bobbing up and down, drifting all around. What would you use to stop the ship from drifting away? An anchor. And just like an anchor keeps the ship in place, anchor points keep you from drifting away from your language. So an anchor point is a connection to the language that keeps you attached to the language and motivated to learn the language. One great example is language school. 
Imagine you signed up and paid thousands of dollars up front. Paying that much would motivate you to make the most of your time there. It's also a big commitment, one that you can't easily back out of. And school dictates your schedule. You have to wake up early, you have to do homework. Your life revolves around the classes. And as such, language school and the language itself become anchor points that your life revolves around. Anchor points can also be family or a partner that speaks the language you're learning. You're around them, you're exposed to the language, so your motivation to learn gets a bit stronger. Buying a language learning program or textbook are also examples of good anchor points. You invested your hard-earned money, which means you're serious about learning. Plus, you want to make sure your investment doesn't go to waste, so you're more motivated. If you're wondering if you have any anchor points, you already have at least one. You're watching our lessons on YouTube. But the more anchor points you have, the stronger your motivation will be. So if you're into music or TV shows in your target language, those can serve as anchor points too. These are things that connect you to the language and add a bit of motivation to learn more, or at the very least, understand what you're watching or listening to. We covered goals and anchor points. What's next? The third step is you must have a good grasp of grammar of your native language. Now, you might wonder, if you're learning a new language, why focus on your native language? Well, as native speakers, the problem is we know what good grammar sounds like, but we can't explain how or why our language works the way it works. So if you don't have a good grasp of grammar, the backbone or the rules of a language, then you'll have a tough time learning a new language. You'll jump in and start learning words and phrases, but you'll never learn how to put them together and make sentences. That's a common problem beginners have. Now, if you already know the grammar of your native language, how do you apply that to your target language? For example, if you're an English speaker, and if you know that English sentences follow the subject, verb, object pattern, and if you know that languages have specific sentence patterns, then you'd go look at patterns. Then, you'd have a good idea of how to create your own sentences, instead of learning random words first. Finally, the fourth step is reading. Reading is good simply because you can do it anywhere, anytime, and without a teacher. It's a skill you can get started on, on day one, on your own. Reading also tends to spill over into other areas. The more you read, the more words and grammar rules you come across. So you boost your vocabulary and grammar, which can seep into speaking and listening. If you read out loud, you're practicing two skills at once. Now we've covered what you need. Goals, anchor points, reading, and grammar. Setting anchor points, knowing your own grammar and reading are simple enough, but how do you set goals that don't lead you to failure? Part two, how to set goals and New Year's resolutions that won't fail you in 2022. The goal that you set can make or break your language learning journey. So setting the right goals makes all the difference between success and failure. Just think about all of the common New Year's resolutions. What comes to mind? Goals like, I want to be fluent someday. I want to speak the language. I want to lose weight. I want to save more money. These big, vague goals often lead to failure because you simply have no idea how to approach the goal and you don't know what you're aiming for. Instead, your goals should be small, measurable, and monthly. For example, speak one minute of conversation by the end of the month. Learn 100 words by the end of the month. Finish chapter one of your language textbook by the end of the month. If you're using our program, finish 20 audio lessons by the end of the month. All of these are small and specific. One minute, 100 words, one chapter, 20 audio lessons. This means that they're easy to reach, unlike something vague like fluency. They're also measurable. You know when you reach one minute. You can check if you know all 100 words or if you finished all 20 lessons. If you aim for fluency, you won't know when you hit it. It's too vague and too big of a goal and it may take years to hit. Finally, all of these goals have a deadline, the end of the month. That would mean January 31st of this year. Deadlines give you a clear date to aim for, and without one, you'll forever be floating around without much progress. So set a deadline for the end of every month. So now that you know how to set small, measurable monthly goals, leave us a comment. What's your small, measurable monthly goal? And what's the deadline? So thank you for watching this episode of Monthly Review. Next time, we'll talk about how to learn a language in pairs. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. 
And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. See you next time. Bye. Want to learn your target language fast and understand native conversations, even if you're a beginner? In this learning strategies video, you'll learn all about the line-by-line -line dialogue, a powerful study tool that, one, makes understanding conversations a breeze for beginners, and two, improves your speaking, listening, reading, and even writing skills. But first, if you don't yet have access to this tool and our lessons, just click the link down in the description and sign up for your free lifetime account right now. One, what is the line-by-line -line dialogue exactly? The line-by-line -line dialogue is a study tool that makes absorbing conversations easier. And you'll find it in all of our audio lessons inside of our learning program. It breaks down the conversations you learn in our lessons into individual lines so that you don't get overwhelmed. For each line, you get the text in the target language, the translations, and audio pronunciation. So you can listen to each line, read along, and understand every single word. And you can also use the line-by-line -line dialogue to perfect your speaking, reading, listening, and writing skills. How? Take a look. Two, how to improve your speaking skills. The easiest way to start speaking on your own is to shadow what you hear, meaning repeat what you hear as you play each line. Just press the audio icon next to each line to hear it and shadow along. Next, if you want to perfect your pronunciation, click on the microphone icon to start recording. Then record and compare your pronunciation with the native speakers. These tactics get you speaking in minutes, and if you apply these to every lesson, you'll be speaking a lot more of your target language. Next, here's how you master listening. Since the line-by-line -line dialogue is a line-by-line -line breakdown of the conversation, you can listen to each line separately, as much as you want. Click on the audio icon to listen again and again and review the script. Read along so that you can pick apart every word. That way, you can understand those fast, native-level conversations and never miss a word. Four, here's how you can practice reading. As you listen to the conversation, read along line by line. And if you don't know a word, click on the translations. They're right there in the line by line dialogue. You can even read with the romanized script to help you sound out the words. And finally, here's how you can practice writing. Now, this advice is not something you'll hear very often because it's so simple. It's so simple that most people don't even think of doing it. Here it is. Just grab a pen and copy the lesson dialogue down into a notebook. The big benefit here is there's no writer's block. You don't have to worry about what to write. It's all there for you. So, if you want to learn your target language faster, understand native level conversations, and improve your speaking, listening, reading, and writing skills, then get free access to the line-by-line -line dialogue. Sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. You want to understand real-life conversations in your target language, right? Well, what if you could immerse yourself in conversations and listen to them as much as you want, like you would music, and start understanding and speaking more of your target language? Well, you can do all of this with the dialogue track. And in this video, you'll discover how the dialogue track, one, immerses you in the language, two, helps you memorize conversations easily, and three, gets you speaking more. But if you don't have access to our lessons in the dialogue track, then sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description. First, what is the dialogue track? The dialogue track is a quick 10 to 30 second audio track with just the conversation of the lesson. Let's say you're doing a five minute lesson about ordering food at a restaurant. First, you hear a conversation. Then our teachers explain every grammar rule and translate every word. And by the end, you know what it all means. Now, if you want to re-listen to that conversation without retaking the whole lesson, that's where the dialogue track comes in. It gives you just the conversation without any translations. So you can re-listen to the conversation or download to review at a later time. Second, here's what makes the dialogue track so powerful. First, you remember the conversations easier. Just listen on repeat like you would with a song, and the words, phrases, and grammar rules will stick better. And the more you come back to re-listen, the better it will all stick. Second, 
You improve your listening skills and can immerse yourself in the language. Imagine you've finished 20 lessons and you downloaded 20 dialogue tracks to your phone. That's 20 conversations. Create a playlist and play those 20 tracks as you're going about your day. You'll immerse yourself in the language and quickly improve your listening skills. Third, you start to speak more of your target language. So if you have 10, 20, or 100 dialogue tracks like that, then you have 10, 20, or 100 conversations that you'll know inside out and that you can use in real life. And as a result, you end up speaking more of your target language. So if you want to start understanding conversations, take advantage of the dialogue tracks, which are available inside every one of our audio lessons. But if you don't yet have access, sign up for a free lifetime account right now. Just click the link in the description to sign up. Access your free language gifts right now before they expire. Here's what you're getting this month. First, the Going to the Mountains Conversation Cheat Sheet. You'll learn all the must-know words and phrases for hiking and camping with this new cheat sheet. Download it for free right now. Second, the Most Common Adjectives PDF eBook. You'll master over 90 common adjectives with this bonus PDF picture ebook. You can download and review it on any device. Third, what's your New Year's resolution? With this bonus phrase list, you'll learn to say common goals like read more, save money, and learn a language. Fourth, the Winter Words and Phrases Writing Workbook. You'll learn over 60 words and phrases for the winter and holiday season and practice writing them with this printable PDF writing workbook. Download it for free right now. Fifth, must know email words and phrases. Learn how to say email, reply, spam, and much more with this quick one minute lesson. Sixth, looking for a new language learning app? With the Innovative 101 app, you learn language fast and start speaking in minutes because the audio and video lessons are just 3 to 15 minutes long. Learning is that easy. Download Innovative 101 for free for the Android, iPhone, and iPad. And finally, the deal of the month. If you want to finally master the language with lessons by real teachers and our complete language learning program, get 55% off 24-month premium with our extended holiday deal. To get your gifts and language learning resources, click the link in the description below. Download them right now before they expire. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description.